trip to Barrow up next. What's your thoughts ahead of that one? Yeah, tough game. Barrow away is always a tough game because, first of all, you got to stay in a hotel. It's about an hour and twenty away from away from the home game because they're quite clever at how they do it with the with the hotel beside where they stay. It's always booked out. So yeah, um, lots of travelling. But listen, it's a tough game and it'll be next one up for us. Well, touching on Sutton, of course, and reflecting on this week, how important has the reaction, the response been from the lads this week? Yeah, listen, it's it's key in football when you let yourself down. That's what that's what you got to do. You got to bounce back, and you got to show what your characters about. I think we, we we as a collective, as a group, that wasn't acceptable. Um, obviously apologetic to the fans who paid their good money to go there. Um, and we just got beat up. It was simple as. With that now, of course, it's about showing that response and that reaction to a disappointing result, showing how well we can play on Saturday. Yeah, listen. I want us to play, get on the front foot, pass the ball. We didn't. Uh, we were kind of half in between. We didn't. We went too long at times. We're not that team. We need to play. We uh, we aren't physically big enough to be going long. We need to play, play, get, make angles, create spaces. Uh, that's what we're about. We have shown that glimpses in times this season, but it's just about finding that throughout the game, not just in moments. Yeah, I think uh, as a collective, as a team, you got to come together. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um, help your teammate out as well. That's the thing. It's don't play for yourself. And I think that's 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 probably been where where as a collective we, we it needs to improve as a as a as a whole. Obviously with the final few games of the season left, how important is it we end this season positively and look ahead to the new season you know, more confidence? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean there's you, you it's it's simple to see what's required there. I've seen it myself. You can see what we've played the best teams and gave them all a good game. But then we've had that slip of like falling into like an illusion of thinking we're a good team because we've played well against them and then we've played really poorly against the, the so-called lesser teams, which has been the biggest frustration I've found. I suppose with that comes the experience of learning from and hopefully developing as players and as people as well. Yeah, 100%. Listen, I'm still learning as a coach, I think, um, which which is fantastic learning for myself. Um, the players are learning all the time. They're still very young. And um, it's just getting those those minuscule little little lapses in concentration, mistakes, because a, a lot of the goals are individual errors that we can see it. It's not like you don't get cut open or that. It's like individual errors, which if you can eradicate them from your game, that's what brings you to the levels of football. With that in mind, how's the preparation been in injury-wise and what's the latest there? Yeah, obviously, listen, injuries are injuries. You, you, got, you can only play the hand that you've been dealt, so we're... We're, we've been a bit unfortunate that a lot of boys who start aren't going to be available. But listen, you can't make excuses. You just got to feel the boys and trust them to to deliver the message. I suppose looking at it positively, it means the boys that do come in have a chance to show what they can do and show what they're about. Yeah, hundred percent. Listen, maybe maybe some of the young lads might be involved. That's the thing. We're obviously going to be sweating on Fraser and Dawson. So it's um, but yeah, we'll see how they come through. It's they're obviously a massive part of how we play. Um. Yeah, nobody's back this week, so that's obviously unfortunate, but it is what it is. You touched on the young lads. Of course, Joel McGregor made his league debut and a real impressive cameo from him on Monday. Yeah, brilliant. Listen, Joel's done fantastic. He was a big part of why the youth team did really well, and it wasn't a token why I brought him on. It was like him he, to bring him on to change the game, Like, and he, he had impetus. He nearly got in on goal. Unfortunately, their lads got their lads fouled him when he's through there. That would have been fantastic for him. Um, yeah, it's good. Listen, the future's bright here. Looking a bit more at Barrow, what do you expect from them? Um, listen, they can't, They play, they go long at times, they mix it up, that's what they're doing really well. They've got experience, the whole spine. They've got two front men who are two of the top marksmen at this level, so it's going to be a tough game. James Chester at the back, like fair play to him. I don't know how they pulled that one off, but yeah, it's going to be a tough game. But that's now just sort of focusing on what we do well, thinking about what we could do to get a good result on Saturday. Yeah, we've got to go out there, be positive, get on the ball, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um... Just be positive. Give the fans something to something to cheer about. That was just. We've obviously had a good result Friday. Changed the game plan up, and then Monday we were just. Uh, it was just. Uh, basically, just got beat up. It was a physical mismatch, and if we don't play against teams like that, we get dominated, and that's just simple. I suppose with the way the final month shows, it shows that the games are just around the corner as an opportunity to prove things right. Yeah, definitely. There's so much to play for, and I think you've got to enjoy every minute you get on that pitch because you never know whether it's going to be your last game or not.